the blend. <laughs> Just lean over and say it's like, oh, you could have dragged him that. <laughs> okay, Zayd, Taha, best friends, worst enemies. No, best friend, best enemies. Best enemies? Yeah. Are they good enemies? Yeah. They're good at being enemies? Yes. Seeing enemies? Yeah, okay. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm groping. Grasping. So I'm expecting the action-packed explosion here. I don't think we're going to be seeing any timeouts, yeah? <laughs> and I see smiles on faces. <laughs> Oh yeah, if Zade wins, I get his joystick. <laughs> <laughs> so, so basically, you want him to win so you don't have to give the prize away. Nah, yeah. Because Zade will just be like, yeah, take the joystick, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he told me that he actually wants that joystick. I think he's only saying that because he knows I like it. <laughs> <laughs> range on that medium kick launch combo is ridiculous. It is just so silly. I mean, there's characters who actually can't connect their launcher from that far away and then Cammy just gets something that good. I know people talk a lot about Julia's moves, how they're easy to block, but she still does good damage when she catches you with, with something. They are not easy to block. Yeah. I mean, okay, she's not as outrageous as you would first think. That's not safe. Either. You can punish that EX. Oh, he goes, he goes for the low trap. And he misses the cannon bar. Oh. So I remember Taha once telling me that stuff like that was a waste of reason, but he's doing it anyway. Maybe he just likes it. Well, and you know, Let's see, no, he might not be, he might not be. Oh, just. Rajin, Rajin. <laughs> oh, he just lets her come in. And Zay just lets him raw tag. I'm surprised he didn't actually do anything. I know he didn't want to risk the reversal, but what was, what was Abel going to do? MT jumps straight into the low. He might actually be punished for that, but no. This could be death, yep. A few mistakes there in that round. Tournament moves. Okay, girl fight again. So you know Cammy's gonna be fishing for that medium kick launch combo. Basic. Basically. That's like half that? the game. The other half is jab, 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 oh, medium got, kick launch. Going with the overhead. And this combo might. Oh no, he drops it. Oh, count it overheads. They actually dishes out maximum punishment there. This is the end, but that's just gravy. <laughs> random shoulder tackle there. I don't know where you were spoken for. To be fair, those random shoulder tackles are completely safe and they're not particularly easy to counter, so well, if there's no reason not to do it. Well, I suppose where, it depends where you're doing it from, the EX one especially. Well, the EX one is just plain safe. Oh, tidy. That grab has a lot of range. Oh, and we've got the overheads. The overhead. yep. And that's... Oh, no, no, no. He fished for that mid. Oh, wow. Oh, he falls for the two-hit sweep. That's the sort of, It's like when you get hit by that for Guile, you feel bad. I'm pretty sure he feels bad now. <coughs> oh, he raw tags Abel straight in. No launcher? Um, is he trying to keep Junior out, do you think? But why? And he eats the EX God Fist. Well, he drops the combo. He gets hit again. Lost a lot of life just from those few attacks. Yeah. And he was looking for the safest way that he could tag her on there. Oh, tidy. He went for another overhead there, ate, ate the dragon. Oh, this is dangerous. Is, yep. Overheads. Wait, I forget, did Zade win the game already? 
These games are so long, I tend to forget. Wait a minute. The final game. Oh, is it? Is this? Sorry, best of five today. For the final. For the final. And do remember, if Zayd wins, then they have to do it again. Well, because he's coming out of losers, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. That's all right, my ears will grow back. <laughs> I actually did have the meter. He could have finished that off right there and then, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Perhaps. Overhead. The raw tag gets ready overhead. Look, damage the, off look, that look at the damage. And, and that's for no meter as well. And Cammy doesn't want to, like, you know, roll out of the corner off the floor, so she's maybe open that. Um, thing is, I'm noticing Tar as a jumps habit. back to give him some space. Yeah, I'm noticing it's a habit for some guys to, like, never roll forward at all. The thing is, it is just another way of getting up. There's no real disadvantage to doing it. Yeah. But sometimes it does put you in some really silly, silly cross-up. Oh, it does. Uh, but you can read it. But remember, it's easy saying that you can read it, but sometimes the person might jump in and just go for a low. So. For sure, but sometimes it's quite frequently just the same as any mix-up you'll get on your normal wake-up. And it is basically just a, vo a way to avoid 50% of your wake-ups just by guessing where to stand up. It's not like Skullgirls where you have trap. I've been playing Skullgirls and they have a tech roll just like that. And that you can basically do traps that will catch them in both directions. Okay. Full combo. No full combo? Okay. There's a lot of raw tech. Does it I don't think he likes having Julia in this matchup. He would actually but much rather take a hit with risk taking a hit with Abel than keep her in. I think I think he likes Julia as the combo ender. Maybe he should consider picking Abel first from her. Yeah. Oh, when he goes for the low and he gets a hatch. <laughs> oh he, he went for the he went for the fancy combo as well. Yeah. Unfo it didn't connect, but it doesn't seem to matter. She hands out so many highs and lows that, you know. It's basically, she comes into your face and it's just like, high, low, low, high, low, low, high. Look at the achievement. So that is 2-0 to um, Taha. I think Zayd is considering a change of character. No, he's not, he's not. Well, no, if you, if you want me to be honest, I, I kind of agree with this move because he's been using this team now, so work with him. That's true. I mean, he's been he's been fish, he's been fish, fishing for those medium launcher combos quite a lot. I think maybe he should, you know, apply to his game a bit more. He was doing it, them quite well in groups. Julia, in general, the, the thing you'll oh, have wow. over her is spacing. Yeah. And as if Cammy's got better spacing, she needs to concentrate that much more. Oh, draw tag, a bit random. Oh, that's probably the best option. And he gets it. And he actually takes off massive damage, goes for the tag. Keeps it going. Nice combo. Let's see if he's gonna fish. Oh! Gets for the dive kick. Oh. That was so close. Raw tag from Julia. Abel gets launched. Let's see what he actually drops the combo. He doesn't have to worry too much. He's got a lead. So much positive yep. stuff on that he actually gets the overhead out of him in the end. He forces it. Taha's being very patient. So it kind of helps that he knows that even if he loses this match, there's like 10 more. But <laughs> the pressure is off and he's, he's certainly showing it. And he eats the lows and he gets launched. Julius back in. I don't like watching those lows, but you've got to admit it's a hell of a hit. But yes. But it looks ridiculous. <laughs> And two seconds, one second. Where's he going? I think he just wanted the meter by being hit in the face. Well, he was on time. There's no point in there. But I think with two seconds left, he might as well just stood there and take on whatever punishment. Oh, and he crosses up right underneath. Apple's got the immediate floor pressure.
Lovely. Very nice. That's a good damage in combo as well. It's worth the bar. Oh, oh, he gets the X shoulder tackle. I don't. <laughs> just violent. I don't really like the uh, Hulu <coughs> combination in this game. To be fair, I didn't like it in Street Fighter 4 either, but it's just possibly even slower here. And you don't want to fall for um, Apple's EX grab too many times. It takes a lot in this game. Yeah. Oh, he gets the hard cross up with... I think it was their way of making up for slowing down all the throws massively, is just to make all of them kill you. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Let's see if he can kill him. Must be able to, yep. And Zay takes hey. one. Managed That's to one pull game. Back. Five more to go. Oh, it just said it's two one star. That's not fun. Hey, staying on the ground? Not staying on the ground. I did not know that Tequila Sunrise was no anti-air. Oh, look, he keeps, more you know. he keeps Julia on in there, and he's trying to force an attack. Let's see what he can get. I, mean, I have to say, he does make Julia look convincing at times. Julia is very good. Yep. It's like, there's no, there's, there's no two ways about it. I have to agree with you there. Abel, I've been on the Regardless fence. of what he says. <laughs> <laughs> Abel seems very good. Oh, he makes that but mistake I with the DP. Gets launched. Julia oh, comes in, immediate ground pressure. Oh, he rolls. Oh, that could have been it. He's actually just trying to force and him he had to tag. go for a wall tag, yeah. yeah. How much damage can Taha actually do if he doesn't just not use meter? He seems to save it all for Abel, but I'm sure Julie can do some pretty monstrous stuff. On the other, oh, Launched. here we go. Super. No, it's not going to do enough damage. Nowhere Let's near. See. That was like 10% scaling there. There we go, overheads. Oh, bad choice. Charge off some bar for the next round. It's at that point it's actually the best thing you can do. Best thing, yeah. This is nasty. A, a nasty big combo. This is very close to home time. Oh safe. So Zay Zay's not tank oh of course the tackle. Okay, yeah. not, not the most damaging punish, but he'll take it. Oh, oh wow. crossover. The only bad thing is that now Cammy's back in. But she doesn't lose her life in this case, so that's oh. not too bad. If he can get a tag out now, no, maybe not. So it would have been good if he got the tag out while um, oh, he still wow. didn't have the meter for EX tackle. Oh, oh, oh no. So this is a very tense match for both of them. One needs to win and the other one wants to win. Oh, oh wow. That was a mistake. I don't think he expected it to go on for that long. Oh dear. This could be it. Hammond oh no, he's not quite enough meter. Oh, and that and is that. Taha takes it. Taha goes home with a stick. Well, as a matter of fact, all three of them go home with joysticks, but here's safe. Really? <laughs> yeah. Home. Are you going to get a Constellation 1 2 I'm Still for Daddy? No, I'll probably give a. I'll probably give one to myself. But, uh, Can I have one? <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> What's up? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this tournament. Yeah, yeah, bring them over. Ta ha ta ha ha! -ha. <coughs> We are now going to interview your hero, your champion, the man of the hour. Wait till he gets his headset on. He's very impressive, he's very impressive. So Taha, Yo, what's I'm, I'm riffing this because Simeon's just asked for it, but how does uh, it feel to win a stick? It feels like I won a stick. Cool. 
Great. Yeah. So what do you think? Uh, tell us about your team and how it works. My team is, I was so upset that they didn't pick Relento and uh, Kazuya. Because Zay's Relento and Kazuya definitely would have beaten me. It's like, um, that team is like anti my team. It's like um, Kazuya's, no, Relento's pokes and stuff just out drives my whole team. That's why against the Vega player, I had to really play lame. Like, that, the Vega player actually beat me in groups. So I was really scared to play in the winners' finals. Oh, did you come out in uh, losers? I no, I mean, sorry. I, ca I came out second. Came out second. Yeah, because the Vega guy. No, we'll, we'll interview him in a minute. But <laughs> yeah, um, basically, yeah, I thought it wouldn't be different if Zayd changed his team. But his his Kami, his Kami is still, um, his Kami and um, what's the other guy? Heihachi. That team is really good as well. That's real good as well, man. And he done some good stuff. He was just um, struggling to kind of find out what to do against my team. My team is really ev ev um, around getting in. And if I can't get in, then that's my team kind of buggered. Um, I can't say that was true. That's not a swear word, is it? It's a swear word. Oh, wow, OK. Um, yeah, my team's really bad then. <laughs> bad, yeah, against that. So g going back to RO, how did you f uh, his team, Vega and Paul, do you feel that Paul he helped came, or hindered him? He came out of nowhere and really like impressed <laughs> me today, man. Like, he's really good. Not that like that's really a good thing, I'm like, really, really good, but he really did impress me. Um, his Paul is... It's not good. It's not as good as his Vega, but arguably Paul Paul isn't as good as Vega. But well, Paul Paul in general is not that good. Yeah. So do you, th you know do you what? Think, Again, do you, know, you think you know he was more of a hidden threat, or just something that he was so good that he could get away with? Kind of, a bit of both. A bit, a bit of both. both. Basically, um, you know when I was getting hit by his Vega, his Vega was giving me the most trouble. So that's what I was really scared of. But as soon as he got got me over hit with Vega, okay, my aim is not to get hit anywhere, right? It's a fighting game. Yeah. Um, but if when the, the the rare chance that he did actually get to hit me. He could only end it with like the ma the, the magic series of uh, Street Back Cross Tekken. He could only go into launch. Um, I was haps when he did that. Because I mean, Paul is out. Once Paul is out, it's much easier for me to play. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's yeah. kind of like a win-win situation. If I don't get hit, if I, if I do get hit, it's a lose situation. But it's all right for me because Paul is out. I would much prefer to fight Paul. That's what I told Zay. Because um, I told I told Zay that that's the, that's the one thing I told him like, during his whole set. Like, he did well anyway, but I told him, Zay, it doesn't matter if he hits with Vega because Paul's coming out. So... I don't mind, I mean, and we're all alright against Paul, man. Paul can't really open you up that that easily. Is there anything you else can. you've seen today that um, you were impressed by? Um, not to sound bad, but not particularly, man. I thought it was all pretty like <laughs> textbook stuff today, to be honest with you. Like um, Ro was Ro was playing. Uh, it's alright, it's alright. It's alright. Ro was playing uh, pretty damn good. Zayd really impressed me again with his new team. Um, gonna find some tech of him later. I'm actually teaming up with Zayd at DreamHack. Are in you? Sweden. Woo -woo. You taking yeah. him to Evo as well, or is that a no, no, no? That's happen. far too expensive. It cost me like thirty-five quid to get here and back from uh, to, to, to Dreamhack, Sweden. So really, that's not yeah. too bad. Though. It cost me as much to go to Scotland, man, for hype spotting. <laughs> you won? You got hype spotting as well? Yeah, I came second in SF4 and I came third in uh, SFX second. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much. But yeah. Oh, sorry. Shout yeah, do continue. Uh, <laughs> shout out to all the guys on stream and stuff, you know, watching. Um, the turnout here was actually all right for a Street Fighter Cross Second event. Lately, um, it's been really bad, like on Mondays at Cross uh, Up. There might be people at home watching Stunfest as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and Stunfest, and obviously. And there are people at Stunfest, naturally. Yes, obviously. I don't think and Power Up. I don't think. Oh, and Power Up as well. Okay, yeah. Thanks, sir, for that. <laughs> well, he's there, just don't forget. Well, yeah, he's there. He's he'll, there, he'll guys. He's streaming for us. <laughs> Shout out to General Skirmish and all that. But yeah, um, the turnout was all right for Shivak for a second event. Please, please, guys, come on Monday, man. The game is good. The game is good. Okay, Carpet, I'm going to ask you. Is the game good? Come on, the yes or no? The game is quite good. I like it. It is, isn't it's it? Not, it's not the magnificent no, no, magnum opus no, no, that not, some people not, might not, have you believe, but it's, it's not, a good game. It's not magnificent. It's not KOF or it's not what other, other games that everyone thinks are awesome. <laughs> but, like, it's good, man. That's it's, good. It's very much evolved around... Reaction, uh, reacting to high and lows, which isn't easy, by the way. Um, guessing high and low, so like you're just, you're just like mind of like conditioning and stuff. That's there. Your reactions to anti-air, how you control space, and spacing of moves that we're punishing. Like Zade was standing outside the range of my standing fierce, and he kept with punishing a cameo of standing medium kick into hard kick into the rush into blah 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 combo. Uh, I think you've just gone over the head of about 50% of the stream monsters. Um. <laughs> I'll get off now. <laughs> I'll get off now. No, so uh, have a word with Zayd as well. Zayd! Yeah, you wanna come here? Yeah, see you later, guys. Thank you, Taha. We have enjoyed your presence.